Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I'm Gary Gunderson. Today we have an unboxing for you, a rifle delivered straight to my door with a CNR license that I recently acquired from DK Firearms, an M91 Calvary Carby. Now that it's out of the box, let's take a closer look. Now even though it is called and sold as a M91 Carcano Calvary Carbine, it is actually an M91 Machetto. It was issued to Calvary troops, but was also issued to other troops as well, and it is just known in the collector's market in America as the Calvary Carbine. I chose to order this one from DK Firearms specifically because they had the best price I could see and they also threw in one end block clip, which is better than nothing. Now the bolt is the same as all the other models of Carcano in the 65 x 52 Carcano cartridge, which this is also chambered in. Now let's take a closer look at the markings and see how this one looks overall. It was listed on their website as fair to good surplus. And here is the serial number, and here you can see it was manufactured in the Gardalm plant. The actual date is a little bit rubbed off here, but by the Roman numeral 14, you can tell that this was definitively made in 1936. The Roman numerals were added as part of Benito Mussolini's fascist regime, marking the first year of its reign in 1922. So you just add the Roman numeral value to 1922 if your date is partially rubbed off like this one. Here you can see the bow sight is flipped forward, making this a 300 meter zero. And this attached bayonet is the second pattern with the lever. The third pattern is a button, and the first pattern had a slide lock. And I will demonstrate how to use the bayonet here in a second. Let's take a closer look at the condition of this particular carbine. Some rusting spots, a lot of wear, nicks and dings, a lot of cosmoly in the bolt, you'd expect that. This one does have a really nice cartouche in the stock though. A little bit of damage there, but it actually looks really nice and is overall in good condition. This pattern obviously has no room for a cleaning rod underneath the barrel, which is usually standard. So these actually stored a two-piece clean rod in the butt stock, and let's see if we actually lucked out and got one. Nope, it's empty. It was not advertised as coming with the cleaning rod, so I'm not surprised, but it would have been a nice little gift if it was there as well. To demonstrate the bayonet, so just pull this lever down, pull it out towards you, kind of like an SKS or an M44 bayonet, push it back in, lock it into place. And that's all there is to it. This is an M91 Machetto, but there's also an M91-38 Machetto. I haven't seen any of those in these batches that are coming in recently, but I was curious if perhaps they are mixed together. The way to tell is that this receiver where there's the flats milled in would just be round, and that's the easiest and quickest way to determine if it was an M91-38. They started making those after they gave up on the 7.35 Carcano cartridge and went back to the 65 by 52 the M91 Machetos also have the gain twist rifling as other Carcanos do, but obviously since it is built purposely as a carbine, the twist rate is built in calculated for this barrel length. Spanning from before the First World War to the end of World War II, about 2.5 million of these were made altogether, and they have been hitting the surplus market in America recently. They are currently for sale on multiple websites and I've even seen some batches come into local gun shops. So if you want one of these, now's the time to strike. With surplus, you generally want to buy when a big batch comes in like this, because the prices are only going to go up from here. You can check out my other videos to see them, but of the three Carcanos I have purchased recently from imports, this one is in the worst shape with more rust spots than either of the others, but I think that will clean up nicely. And I think the description by DK Firearms of fair to good surplus is accurate. Of course, as with other Carcanos, to remove the bolt, just hold the trigger in, and it just pulls right out. Here's a closer look at the bolt. 
it is covered with cosmoline and is pretty dirty, but that's what you would expect. Uh, like I said, I think this one turned out pretty well for me. With Surplus is always a gamble, and I would of course recommend doing a deep cleaning, including taking it out of the stock to check for any pitting before firing it. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more content. Please share it with others who are considering purchasing one of these M91 Calvary carbines. And let me know how yours turned out if you bought one from someplace. Or if you see one of these websites post a really good price that's better than what DK Firearms was at about $260. Bye.